Hello, everybody. It's 1156, Monday, October 30th. Tomorrow will be um, an inauguration for Obama in uh, Halloween Day. And it would appear that world leaders will be coming around to that inauguration. And I would say it's got something to do with the wickedness that's in this world today you know so with that being said we just need to be ready you know and don't be surprised by anything at all but anyhow you guys I had a dream about Obama where his eyes had those slits like that right there in them okay and you could see when her eyes went from that to that. See how they're gray around there and it got that slit in the center? Okay. This is very real, you guys. These are photos that I got off of 2020. Okay. 2020 didn't show you this. I believe it was 2020 or 48 hours. It was one of those two. It was on that on their television show. But uh, I got that photo and uh, I had to pause the video that they showed of her to get those pictures. <clears throat> but anyhow, I've seen it. I've had experience. I've had communications with them, talking to them, you know. And a lot of people have had dreams about it. I've literally talked with some of these demonic spirits where they uh, confronted me. And I believe it's got a lot to do with that, okay? That the uh, Lord has revealed things to me where I, could, I see these things, like where other people might have dreams and stuff. I don't know how many of you guys have confronted them like I have out there um, in person, one-on-one. -on -one. But I'm going to tell you something, man. Um, they're they're here, and the inauguration that Obama's having tomorrow. He's even shared where he's had a dream where uh, um, he said he was called, like he said, "It's time." Then we know in the Bible where it says that who's coming is after the working of Satan, and then who called Obama? Satan himself. You know, so some of us are perfectly aware of who Obama is, okay? Now, at the end of that trumpet, it's a white horse with the bathtub. Time's up. Jesus is coming. The bathtub, that's where we have to have the blood of Christ on us, okay? Now, we've been separated, and we've been gathering together, not just on this channel, but multiple other channels. And uh, that's why I say we need to be careful, make sure you are gathering with people that are strengthening and uh where it says redeem the time strengthen what remains and because that's why we were separated and we're aware the scales were lifted off our eyes to redeem this time and strengthen what remains and we're being made aware of this um as far as that day and hour we know it's at hand it's going to happen anytime um actually with the things like this inauguration coming up, that only tells me it's very, very soon the more wickedness that we see um, in the world is going to be uh, drawing us closer to that time when, you know, when it's going to happen. I do believe the Lord when he says no one, no one is going to know the day or the hour because um, it could happen, you know, any time. We're going to see that witness this inauguration tomorrow. Will it be on the news, television? I don't know. You know, I've never heard of an inauguration before other than a presidency. And then with world leaders coming around, I think that's a sign in itself showing that they're, they're uh, accepting Obama for something that, you know, wicked. Wicked. That's just the best way of putting it, for something very wicked. And it's on Halloween Day. It's a pagan holiday, by the way. Um, and a lot of people are celebrating it. Just like, uh, 
when you see halftime shows on these football games and stuff like that, um, it's pagan stuff that we're seeing on there, demonic wickedness. And people are still, uh, you know, flocking to the games. They don't see what's going on. And I believe that's just where there are just under strong delusion, as the Word of God says. But nonetheless, you guys, um, time's at hand. Get ready. Um, be ready. Because the time's coming for us to leave. And I know many of you guys are ready. I told you I have a lot of my dreams I've seen where I change into a spirit and we leave. Um, I've just been uh, noticing things where people have been saying, you're good to go, you're good to go. I've had dreams where I was fighting against demonic stuff with Rod's Iron, and they said, you don't belong here, you have to leave. You know, like I wasn't, um, they didn't like fighting against me, I guess, in the dreams that I had. But uh, that's fine with me, I'm ready to get out of here. You know, when they said, I have to leave, that I don't belong here. Um, that I don't fit in with what's going on in this world, and that's fine with me. I just want to say, because remember, Satan, he's the ruler of nothing, man. All he is is a great deceiver. He deceiveth the whole wide world. And uh, Obama is coming in behind all that deceivableness, you know. He is, some of us that are wise, we know perfectly well who he is. The foolish ones, they're not going to escape this, you know. They're going to have to go through um, a big part of this, you know, in the Bible. And, you know, and I ain't saying it like, you know, ha ha, that kind of stuff. It's a shame that they uh, were holding on to what's in this world. I think a lot of this stuff is being, you know, slowly but surely it's being revealed to us. And, uh, you know, it's it's slowly but surely coming apart at the seams. In other words, this world, the time, the things that we're seeing and witnessing, it's not um, what we think it is. You know, this was like the wool pulled over our eyes. You know, and people were making choices in their life what they were going to do, and the Lord was getting those who are worthy and those who weren't worthy. Because in the end of this story here, that's what it all boils down to, is a separation. People being chosen and people being discarded. You know, <clears throat> he's, he's getting, you know, those that are worthy and those that are not worthy. You know, people are making their choices of what they want in this world. And, uh, you know, that's what it all boils right down to, okay? And those that are following Jesus Christ, those that are following what's in the world. Word of God says that, you know, you can't serve both. God bless you guys. I love each and every one of you, okay? In Jesus Christ's name.